Hello and welcome to Potato Land. My name is Aubrey and I'm going to be doing something new, which is stories with Aubrey. And it's probably going to be once a week, once every two weeks. We'll see how this goes. Story time basically is in the title, stories, which are 100% true. Anything relevant, anything funny, anything crazy, sad, everything. It's all me authentic let's go so today's story is gonna be fairly recent you know it's gonna be about my senior year um, at the last school I was at hated that school a lot of people don't know why I left or even know that I left because I kind of up and left I kind of dropped everything it was a really dark patch in my life but I'm okay I was dealing with my cousin passing away, plus a rough patch in the relationship I was in, plus grades being really low, plus problems with some friends, plus stress, so it was just a lot. I was not on good terms with teachers because when they saw my grades, they just thought it was me not caring. They didn't motivate me to do better. All they did was say, why are you here? What are you doing here? Do you even care? What grade are you in? Oh, you're a senior, so you don't care? Why are you even here if your grades are like this? The music teacher, my choir teacher that I was in, um, he just kind of would say, death happens, get over it, people die, stop crying, get to class, it doesn't matter. You gotta worry about school before other things. And I did drop that class and I started working on getting back the credits I had lost from sophomore year. My anatomy teacher, who uh, very much didn't intend on making me cry, but did. Hey, um, so what grade are you in? What do you mean? Like, are you a senior or junior? What are you? Or why? Like, do you even care? Like, do you even want to graduate? Do you even care about coming to school? Why are you even in school? Do you, do you care? Well, obviously I'm here for a reason, aren't I? Well, it doesn't seem like you care. Again, happy senior grade. And at this point, I'm in tears. He's kind of like, not sure what to do at this point. He just doesn't know what to say to me at this point because I'm just, you know, sobbing on my desk because I'm at my lowest point. He just kind of looks at me and is just like, I didn't mean to make you cry. Um, I'm sorry. He walks away and about like five minutes later, after I'm just kind of sitting there just processing what just happened, he comes back and he's not looking at me. So, um, if you want, you can step out. Again, I really didn't mean to make you cry, but um, if you do need to step out, you can. And then he walked away from me. I did get the same thing from like my English teacher, my algebra teacher. I did, I got that from just about every teacher, except for my credit recovery teacher, which is pretty cool. I'm happy where I'm at at school. I'm so happy. I'm excited because things are looking up. I took that big step and I dropped everything and just about everyone and I changed everything. I don't regret it because I'm excited for the future. I'm not scared anymore. Like, I mean, I'm scared, but it's just like not a bad scare. Not in the case of, oh my gosh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just sitting here. What am I going to do? It's just, I'm scared because it's like, it's that new step in life where it's going to be great but I didn't picture myself getting that far because how much I was put down. But I made it and I'm really excited and I'm happy and it's gonna be great. And I didn't mean for this to be an inspirational thing, but honestly, again, authentic, it's me. I do have a lot more planned, a lot more stories. Any questions or anything you wanna hear in particular, just comment it. Um, give me a topic you want to hear or just throw a question and I'm pretty sure I have a story on it. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. 
comment anything, 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 and uh, anything, and share with your dogs, cats, your grandmas, and aunts. Hope I gave that grand a double chin. Peace out, Girl Scout. Goodbye.